What's going on guys? Welcome back to Poke Central. In this video, I'm going to be saying the top 10 strongest Pokemon in Gen 1. If you don't know what Gen 1 is, it's Generation 1, which is Red, Blue, Fire Red, Leaf Green, those games. That's Gen 1, those Pokemon. Um, before I get started with this video, can you find Umbreon? Last video, I told you that I've been hiding Umbreon, and Umbreon's in here in my background, so comment down below where Umbreon is, and let's get right into number 10. Number 10 is Snorlax. So basically, Snorlax is just a tank in general. His HP is super high, his attack and special defense is off the charts, and if you don't have one in your game, catch one now, because it will definitely improve your team. Number 9 is Lapras. Now, Lapras has the best base stats um, out, of whole, out of the whole Generation 1 that's not a Legendary. And Lapras is one of the best, if not the best, Surfs in the game. Number 8 is Scyther. Now, Scyther is really fast and he has a great attack stat. And if not, he's, one of, he's the coolest bug type in Gen 1. He also looks sick to top that off. Coming in at number 7, we have Alakazam. Alakazam's special attack and speed is really good, and Alakazam is the strongest psychic type in Gen 1. Number 6 was hard to choose, but I ended up picking Gyarados. Gyarados has an amazing attack, speed, and special defense stats, and still for me now, even if I have an electric type, Gyarados is the hardest Pokemon for me to kill out of every single game that I play, even if I had a Raichu or a Pikachu. Number five is Arcanine. I picked Arcanine because it's classified as a legendary Pokemon, but it's not because it was removed from the trio of birds, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, and its attack and special attack stats are really high. Number four is Gengar. Gengar has amazing special attack and speed, and it was really hard to get in red and blue because you needed to trade it. But if you happened to trade it, if you had a friend that had it, and you ended up getting a Gengar, you just got the strongest ghost type in Generation 1. Number 3 is Dragonite. Dragonite has amazing attack, special attack, and special defense. And it has the highest out of those on the whole entire list. And also, Dragonite can be one of the best Pokemon in general, maybe in the top 10s, because of its dragon and flying type combination. Even though it's four times weak to um, ice, that's besides the fact because ice Pokemon aren't usually that strong. Number two is Blastoise. That one was pretty hard to pick, and I didn't really think it deserved number two, but it ended up getting there, because its special defense and defense stats are amazing, and it's the best Water-type Pokemon in Generation 1. It beats Lapras, but Lapras is a better surf because for Blastoise, you should use other moves without having to use an HM on Blastoise. And the number one spot goes to Charizard. That was almost a no-brainer because Charizard is just this, definitely the strongest Pokemon and definitely top five out of every generation of Pokemon. It's just, if you have it on your team, you're just going to fly through the whole entire game, whatever game you picked, really easily. I really hope you guys did enjoy this top 10 video. If you did, please smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Before this video ends, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be gone for a week, so I won't be uploading. But I will be uploading the whole entire week when I get back, so stay tuned for that. Please comment down some top 10 ideas and catch you guys in a week. See ya!